In the anomalous expansion of water, it does something you'd think it shouldn't ought to. For most of nature's substances, it usually is the case that when you cool them, they contract and occupy less space. Substances like mercury, ammonia, and gold all contract consistently when you make them cold. But water is exceptional in a way that's hard to figure, for at a certain point when cooled, the space it fills gets bigger. When it's warm, water works just like we'd like to think. In cooling down from boiling point, steadily it shrinks. But it becomes its densest at Celsius 4 degrees, then it starts expanding even when it starts to freeze. This can cause some nasty things like bursting frozen pipes or the damage done to living cells which we call frostbite. Another threat is the icebergs that, in journeys oceanic, imperiled boats and sealed the doom of the sailing ship Titanic. Stuff like cooling mercury freezes from below, but water freezes from the top above the water's flow. The denser, warmer water sinks right down unto the bottom and the ice it always floats on top, however cold it's gotten. It's a good thing too, because when lakes all freeze and ice does form, because the ice is on the top, it keeps the winter water warm, so our fishy friends are saved from an awful frozen slaughter by the peculiar and anomalous expansion of the water.